Hello and welcome to my F123 My Team Career Mode here today for part 34 for round 2 of season 3 in the career mode. We're here in Saudi Arabia after the first round in Bahrain. Here is the grid. So it's George on pole, we are P2. Then it's Science and Ocon, Verstappen and Gasly, Hamilton and Schumacher, the two goats on the same row, Alonso and Joe, Bottas and Stroll. Albon and Piastri, Lando and Leclerc, Magnussen and Logan Sargent, Liam Lawson and De Vries. And on the final row is Yuki Tsunoda with a penalty and Fittipaldi also with a penalty. So we're here on the grid then. This is our final qualifying lap in qualifying. Nailed the final point of the single purple in the first sector. First the best in the middle sector. But it wasn't enough to take pole position. So we're here starting at P3. We're doing it soft to mediums. Let's go to the races. The five and lights go out. And we've got an okay start. George got an initial good start. But the second phase goes alongside. And he's got his head into turn one. We take the lead of the Saudi Grand Prix. Now it's Sainz and George going wheel to wheel. And Sainz is taking. P2 as well, George has dropped from the lead to P3 and now look at the launch he's got off of that corner, we ran wide and now he's going to try and go all the way around the outside of the bank corner, Sainz has a wobble, big wobble, that's going to allow George to retake P2 in this race. Mistake from the Ferrari after a good start from the Spaniard. Now though, down into the final corner, Sainz is coming back at George Russell, trying to go to the outside, George fends him off, as everyone kind of bunches up, down into the first corner, this is Verstappen and Esteban Ocon, going with the wheel, Max round the outside, gets past Ocon, but we just couldn't shake off at George Russell, our championship rival from last season, we slam the door, firmly shut there, but we've run wide and George is here an opportunity to do the switch back and get us side by side of us as we head through the kings of this track and squeezing right towards the wall there, but we keep him behind but he's coming back at us again now side by side through the corners, through the sweeping corners and gets a bit out pudgy into the into this corner and we forced him right off the track forced him to back right out that one and now he's going to be vulnerable to the Ferrari of Carlos Sainz but Sainz can find a way through and we've gone wide again here and now this is George on the outside trying to go all the way around the outside into the final corner now and George has got us but we're going to go late back down the inside pushing wide Ferrari are back up into P2 with Carlos Sainz briefly. George now right on the back to Stappen in the background waiting in the wings as George goes back to the inside of Carlos Sainz into turn one round the outside now who gets the exit? It is George back up into P3, P2. Sainz can't stay ahead of the Mercedes. Now though to the outside George all the way around the outside of the final corner. We show him the door again. We just can't shake him off. And like Bahrain, we're really struggling on these soft tyres. Down the inside though into the final corner yet again. We keep George behind. He keeps trying it and it's still not working for him. But this time though, through his side by side into that corner. And this time George round the outside gets the job done on us but he's not going around my outside and thinking he's going to get away with it and towards the final corner we go now we go right back around his outside as we make a mistake further around the lap nearly sideways George like gets the position off of us and now we're going to go to the outside again and sail it all the way round the outside of that corner and job done you can overtake me around the outside, George. I'll just do it straight back to you. It's now run a bit wider. We just can't shake off this Mercedes. We've had, we had some great battles last season. This is another one. 
We keep George behind. Yes, again, lap seven now. And the Ferrari is starting to drop back in sight. And Max Verstappen has seen a chance to overtake. But let's go back to our battle with George. George back to the inside. And George does get the job done on us. And I think that may well be it. As Verstappen tries to go to the inside now and past the Ferrari. Just about it is past now. But we managed to stick with our former championship rival and spat around the outside of the final corner. We go. But George keeps us behind. <laughs> but we're going to have the DRS and the slipstream to re overtake him before we even get to turn one. So George on the back of us now as once again to the outside heading towards the final corner. George with the DRS slipstream just about gets his nose ahead but we're going back down the inside once again and he tries to cut us back that time and now he's on the back of us going down into the first corner we cover off the inside line but not enough because George is up the inside he already around the outside we chop him off but we're all over the place these soft tyres are terrible I just couldn't find any pace whatsoever and that's what's leading to this battle just couldn't get away on these soft tyres there's now George on right on the back of us as we head up towards the final corner once again George goes to the inside inside outside what's he feeling he has to stay behind but we run a bit wide George gets the exit now as we cover off the inside line once again Verstappen now has caught the bank Verstappen's trying to go to the outside George is on our inside we're sandwiched in the middle we have to give leave space to both of them we turn in George is going from when ripped off as he goes for a gap that never existed and our battle with George like it did in Japan last season ends with contact this time George and Ends up with, a, with his front wing off. We're now fighting Verstappen. George is dropping back. Max gets past us as we, as we go deep into the final corner. And now we're nearly having contact with Verstappen as we race into the pits for our one and only stop of the day. I know it's very, very dramatic here in Saudi Arabia. And how a race can turn just like that. Max is on to the mediums. And we will also go into the medium tyres as well. But can we beat the Red Bull out? And the answer only just is yes. And by the time everyone finishes making their stops, we will be back into the lead of the Grand Prix. Ahead of Max Verstappen. So this is a replay now of what happened. So we've covered off the inside line. And... Okay, there's a gap to the inside, but then we kind of get sandwiched in the middle of Max and George. And we go to take the racing line, and George drives into the wall. We had to give space to Max. George was never really fully alongside us there. George has to back out in that scenario. Okay, he was alongside us, but that was way before the corner. And he'd already kind of half backed out and kind of left himself in no man's land there. So, to me, it's probably a racing incident. George has come off worse, ultimately in the end, but he hasn't got a penalty for it, which I'm sure we probably would. But I don't think we were at fault for that. We had to leave space for Max on our outside. And I'm not backing out and letting them both through in that situation. So it's a long afternoon now for George, sorry about that, but now Max all over the back of us once again now in this race, up to the outside he, he goes and he's nearly making contact with us again there into the final corner. Max now all over the back of us as we cover off the inside line, hopefully this time without contact down into turn one. But Max is too far back this time and we can breathe for a little minute. But once we go back into the first sector, 
this is Carlos Sainz now. He was fighting for the podium in the early stages of the Grand Prix. Now finds himself with an engine that has exploded and out of the Grand Prix. And we managed to pull away from Max Verstappen. We had great pace on these medium tyres. As now Verstappen is left battling Fernando Alonso, the race winner in Bahrain, and Lewis Hamilton as well. The battle, the P2, and the final steps on the podium. Alonso overtakes Verstappen. Hamilton now round the outside, tries to go on Max Verstappen. Into turn two, Max will keep the outside line. They're still side by side. Alonso into P2. Max keeps the Mercedes behind. But Lewis isn't done yet. On to lap 22. To the outside of the Red Bull once again. Round the outside. It's gone wrong in the past between these two. And Max once again fends him off round the outside. This is Michael Schumacher. Now we haven't really talked about him in this race but he's stuck behind Gasly and Leclerc the only remaining Ferrari in his Grand Prix just can't find a way past him really he's got through those behind but now he's kind of stuck but he's past the Ferrari and he's rocketing down into the first corner and he's going to go wrong round the outside of both of them but he can't get the exit on the inside doesn't take those positions Gasly also stays ahead of Charles Leclerc and now this is Hamilton once again trying around the outside of the first corner gives him the inside line but there doesn't seem to be any grip there because Max Verstappen for the third time stays ahead of the Mercedes but for us we were cruising this car seems to come alive on medium tyres and we are going to win our first race of the season and our first race as a world champion. Oh, superb driving. That is the race win, my friend. Well done. And the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. And Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. Here comes your top three, making their way down to the podium for what can only be described as a fantastic day for Formula One. So we win our first race of the season and our first as world champion. Very dramatic race in the end. The contact with George, the battle with George as well, great battle. Ended in contact unfortunately and the battle with Max as well. The cars for some reason seems to come alive on mediums. I don't know whether it's my driving style or what but the car turns into a rocket ship on mediums. Hamilton getting Max in the end you can see there. Fair play to Max Verstappen. They had an awful Bahrain. Non-score for both of them and they were near in the shout for a win this weekend so fair play to Red Bull Alonso now leads the championship by six points over us and then it's Hamilton and George and Michael Schumacher there as well Verstappen now rockets up 
the championship as well and down at the back still many drivers still yet to score after the first two races in terms of the constructors Aston Martin lead the constructors from SMP2 and then the reigning constructors world champions Mercedes are P3 currently They're very close at the top in both championships in the early stages but I hope you've enjoyed this Grand Prix this episode a great race in the end we go to Australia next down under and I'll see you then goodbye